what I'm gonna wait one more turn for Jimbo to get some more but as you can see I have 6,000 treasury uh, <laughs> that's a lot for uh, the second turn so I definitely recommend doing this uh, it's going it will help you in the beginning mm, accuracy and uh, let's see I could get Bo Ronin, but I think I need a temple for that. No? I know some units require a temple. Uh, hold on, let me just find out. Where the fuck is it? Uh, there, we, there we go. Alright, so... It's these guys. They require a temple and an archery dojo. But, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and upgrade the castle over here. Because in this area I can be making some, um, some nice uh, horse units, or mounted units. And I'll give them melee attack. So, as you can see, I have a ton of structures in production. Again, that's because of my uh, scamming. <laughs> Let's just call it scamming, that's what it is. So I'm gonna be using my general now. My daimyo, actually. I should be able to take this province without any problems. Um, now, there's one more thing I wanna warn you about. Um, the Sakai, are the ones I'm going to be attacking, and you could you could say that oh why don't I just scam them why don't I just give them Welcome. twenty turns of um, actually no I'm not going to be attacking them but why don't I just give them twenty turns of military access and and make them pay me all my money well if I do that and then I attack him when he has military access it's it's considered a betrayal so. If you do that, you get a shit ton of minus on the on diplomatic relationship because of dishonoring treaties. So, because I currently have a military axis with him, I'm not going to be attacking him. So I'll make him my, oops, I'll make him my ally from um, a potential ally. He can be defending the West. Welcome. I'm here to listen. All right. So I think, yeah, we're done. So as you can see, I have like, I have about five buildings in production, including a castle upgrade. Um, and that's because of the, the um, little bit of scamming that I've been doing. Let's just call it selling military access. That's because of, uh, of uh, selling military access to my enemies or allies or neutrals, whatever, whatever way I want to go with that. So you can clearly see that that's going to help you a lot. Um, if you do that a few times um, and of course you can keep up you can keep moving up like first time you give them 20 turns uh, 10 turns I mean and second time you give them 20 and you're gonna be getting uh, gold both times now let's see if the ninja faction has taken these guys out nope not yet and Saito haven't been taken out by Oda yet either. What the hell? Oh man, if oh, I don't know. Let's just start moving south. And I'm gonna be saving up a little bit. Actually, no. Let's let's make a trading port. Or, hmm, you know what? I have a better idea. Let's make a temple as soon as I can in three turns. Alright, trading port it is for now. Alright, turns are going quickly. Ah, oh, here we go. Something's happening over here. Hatano is the name, I think just remembered by seeing their color for some reason oh yeah they they definitely took this territory 
So, um, like I said earlier, Hatano are very, very known for becoming a big ass clan. Hatori, Hatori, are known for becoming a big ass clan, and Oda is also known for becoming a big ass clan in this campaign. Hmm, I can incite revolt. Actually, that's something I don't want to do yet because uh, I, I just don't need to. But I'll wait one more turn before I start moving down. Because it's winter and I don't want to be suffering from attrition. So as you can see, I'm just building up my uh, my cities and just turtling a little bit in the beginning. Yeah, I, I'm actually not gonna make more units yet. Actually, let's go ahead and make two more. But I'm not gonna be making more units than that yet because. Um, that's gonna be killing my income and at this point I don't need more units than than what I have so why should I make more units than, than I actually need and then just have them sit there and drain my income for a few turns but oh it looks like um, Saito is oh and Jimbo declared war I mean that's unexpected Sakai I mean is uh, at war with Hattori never seen that before either Trade agreement broken, Jinbo is now preparing to attack me and jeez, I do not want to take this territory. And the reason is simple. If I take this territory, I'm gonna have Takeda on my ass. We don't want to have Takeda on our ass. But this actually means that I have to be building some more units. No problem though, no problem. I want to level up my monk, so what I'm going to do is inside revolt. Not because I want the city, but because I want to uh, level up my monk. Hmm, you know what? Let's see if we can be smart about this before we attack. He is allied to the shogunate. Um, Break of Alliance. Now I could wait. This is gonna be. I'm not gonna do this, but see, I could bribe him with that. But if I do that again and attack him, um, it's gonna mean that I'm gonna get dishonoring treaties, and I'm already at like minus twenty. I think. Yeah, minus twenty with everyone because of um, of religious differences. So fuck that. I'm not gonna be giving myself even more he was joined by the shogun that's definitely not a good thing last time I checked didn't make you more popular being hated by the most important man in all of a country all right so one of the main problems with Iko Iki is keeping a territory after taking it because oh oh nice thought he was gonna steal that but because um, once you take a territory it's gonna be belonging to a different religion and keeping the fucking morale or not the morale but keeping the happiness in that city is a pain in the nipple until you can convert them uh, Hard. Hard decisions are hard. Alright. Let's see what they have here. Oh, absolutely nothing. I could make them a vassal. I could also not give a shit about doing that. This is why I was saving money. Um, to develop a new area that I've been taking or that I knew I, w I was gonna take very fertile soil sweet now what what the hell is this 
Ooh, this can give me a pretty awesome army of ninjas. Plus two to provincial happiness. Fuck yeah. See, now I already have a pretty much maxed out city. <laughs> Omi in the first turn and that's because I was saving up so I need to hold this as a defensive border and I also need to be making more units because my archers were supposed to go down but obviously not anymore so I'm using my monk as often as I can I think he's leveling up he should be no, never mind. He failed his first attempt. I forgot that. Uh, I'm using my monk as much as I can because um, I want him to be as high level as possible within the first few turns. So, a way to level him up is to demoralize the enemy or to, you know, uh, convert provinces. All right, nothing fancy going on yet. Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna be moving my archers down. Also, it just looks like my trading port is done. Yeah. So, um, constructing sh trade ships from the very beginning. See now. I'm wondering what Hatori have if they have anything at all. And you know what? I'm actually going to try to decide revolt again because he's gonna level up. There we go. Converting provinces, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. And one of each. I want to work my way down here to converting provinces. So that's why I'm um, putting some points in that. Now I'm creating roads. Uh, I pretty much got everything going for me at this point. This province um, has finished building a uh, stronghold. So I'm gonna be making a couple of um, mounted units. So fuck that, I'm gonna just remove that. I probably shouldn't have uh, tried to inside revolt or demoralize would save me some money so I could make some units. But um, where is it? Stables. Stables, there we go. And I'm pretty sure I can make my own cavalry eco something. There we go. These guys are freaking awesome. I think it's those. I think there's another one too for for you know normal uh, normal cavalry. Oh well, we'll find out. But you can, as you can see, Weaponsmith is upgraded, so we're going to be punching out a few awesome units from there. And I'm making my uh, Yari Ashigaru unit on the province, or from the province up there, because it has uh, a Weaponsmith. So units created from there will have more stats than units created from other, pl other uh, provinces. First trade ship is up. Because it's winter, I'm just gonna continue making trade ships and not even worry about that. But as you can see, it's up from 50% to 67%. And Oda has been taken out by Tokugawa. Hmm. First time I've seen that in 
the four freaking um, campaigns that I've done Iko Iki. This is the first one on medium though. So that might have something to do with that. 